today we'll be working on an animated collage. So let's head over to Canva and I will show you how to create one. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set up our first, the, what the page wants to look like without any pictures on it. So I'm just going to go over to elements. Let's see what I used before. Let's scroll up here. And here's all the doggos. I use this little dude. Let's get a background color. I use something. Oh, that's what I did. I wanted this color blue that's in this gradient, but I didn't want the gradient. So this is how I cheated on that one, y'all. Watch, I double this. Then I take this one out. Oh, we didn't have to look for the color. I cheated, y'all. Cheated. Okay, and then I wanted some cool puppy feet. And I made some puppy feet. I changed them to white. Edit photo. Edit some drop on it. I always put the distance a little bit closer. I don't like how far out it is. And I always usually put a little bit more blur to it. And I did that. And then duplicate. Hey, where is it? There it is. Goodness. What in the goofy goofy is going on here? So I just did it the other way. Did a little thing. Like so. Now you're going to make your own. I'm just going to do a little real fast one. And then I did this. And I spread it out like so. And then I did this to give it like a cool texture. Like that. And then there's some words and stuff on it. And you just slap some text on here. We're just going to go and put that on here. Like that. Alright, so what you want to do once you have this set up. Go through, highlight everything, and group it together. Then you're going to start another page like this. Now what you want to do is go into i'm going to go in elements because i'm using those but if you uploaded photos for this which you probably would if you're doing a collage what you want to do is start grabbing your pictures so what i want to do is grab my pictures and any dead space that's on them i want to kind of get rid of some of that because if you got a lot of pictures you don't want all of it covered up with what i call dead space which is this stuff right here so i'm going to do that you can you just use the photos you can also use frames. So if I go into my elements here and go down to my frames, you can pick out frames to use. Um, I was, you know, whatever you want to do, you want to use like this one. You want to use, uh, where's a heart? Let's go cute. Some hearts. Whatever you want to use, you can do that too. Just be careful when you're using a lot of photos like this. Your control key is going to be your friend. So we're going to go back over to my upload um, recently used and start dragging doggy pictures in. And see the problem with the frame is that it's going to jump right in. That shouldn't have jumped right in. What in this good googly goo was going on there? That's not even a frame. Hold on. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. That's not even a frame. Wow, that was weird wasn't it so here let's just click these on here and we're gonna click in click 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 I don't know what I clicked at yet click 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 this thing is moving as much as I'm clicking all right so we got a bunch of photos so what I want to do now is just start go and kind of like editing them all like sizing them the way you want to if you want to put them in frames put them in frames so i'm first first of all i just want to trim them down that's what i want to do at first because i want to know kind of my sizing or what my pictures are going to be when i'm doing this so see like see all this dead space on this puppy right here i mean you're going to take that down to this size picture right And we're just going to do that for all of these. We're going to go through. Oh, we got two of these. Bye bye. And this one's got a bunch of dead space here. Take that out. Size that down.
Well, that one's a good size. And then stick one in the heart. And then I got them all like I want to with all trimmed up. Now what I want to do now is I'm going to take these and let's say I'm going to just take one of them. I want to round the borders. I want to put a border on it and I want to round the corners of all the ones that I want. Now you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. And then I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to change my border to my background color. I'm going to change it to the background color, this little square right here. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to get my paint roller right here at the top. I am going to highlight everything and it should give borders to everything to match. So now everything has that colored border. Then all you're going to do is click out of it and start organizing them the way you are. I'm going to do this a little sloppily because I'm just going to show you the technique of how to make your collage go be cutie pooty and animated. So we're just going to not make this very beautiful, but we're just going to get here and show you some techniques. So I'm just going to kind of throw these puppies all over the place. Not really because I wouldn't throw a puppy. I love puppies. Um, like so, like so. Oh, we got two of these guys over here. We got another puppy. Uh, I want another puppy. Oh, this puppy. Here, that's a frame. There we go. This puppy, this puppy, and this puppy. Okay, so here's your collage. Now you can put as many pictures as you want to in there and put them any, organize them any way you want to. Um, one thing, be careful with frames. See if you go over top of them. Hold your control key down when you're floating over top of another frame. That's the only thing you're going to have to watch out. If you use the pictures like they regularly are, and don't use frames at all, you shouldn't have that issue. But if you have a frame and you float over top of it, you see it's going to grab that picture. So just be warned to hold that control key down so it doesn't latch onto a frame when you're moving photos across the top of other photos. So the next thing you want to do is you want to come over here. You want to grab this group photo, this group photo right here. All right, so that didn't want to group. So what I'm going to do is go into position. I am going to highlight this all this group right here I'm going to hold down my control key highlight the second one and group them together now what I want to do see this is my front I'm going to pull it down on the to this page and then I'm going to delete the first page this is technically a one page animation so I'm going to delete that and this is my one page what I did is pull it out to 10 seconds we can adjust the time at the end but we're going to start off at 10. now what you want to do is you want to highlight the whole page like so Go in your three dots and you're going to go into show timing. Now you got a lot of pictures, so you're going to have to scroll up and down and make sure you got all your pictures. So what you want to do is find your one that is your background. Oh, see, it didn't take in my thing. So see, I didn't take that. So to fix that, what I'm going to do again is go and highlight everything. And let's go into position and make sure that's highlighted. It's not highlighted, so I'm going to hold my control key down and highlight that too. Okay, so now everything should be in here. I can see that is my top right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to shrink that down to like uh, one second, one between one second and 1.3 seconds. And then all you're going to do is start lacing these all the way down where they pop up at different intervals. So you're going to go and then pop. So you're going to stagger these all the way down. And then we'll scroll. We'll stagger that. Stagger that. Stagger that. And if you want to, you can kind of look. As you pre press on this, you can see in here which one is highlighted. So if you, you want to do them in a different stagger, like... This one is beside this one and you don't want them coming in behind each other. You can go and change them in uh, different spots. So say like this one was different and this that one was too close. We'll just go and move this one in and then go ahead and move this one in after that. So you're just going to stagger them in there. So they pop up one at a time. 
And if you have some room on the, some too much dead space on the end, you can always move this out, move this back in. If you run out, you just pull it out further. So that's up to you. That's it. Yeah. So if you have a lot of photos, you might have to, you'll get to where the last one's like really tight, like all the way down like this. It's like, man, that's not a lot. Of, there's no time left. So all you have to do is pull this out and it'll give you more time on here. And if you come in and you're like, oh, I got all this time on the end. I don't want it. Pull it back in and shorten it back up. And that's the way you're going to do that. And then we'll play this through and see. Let's move that out the way. Move that out the way. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hide my timing to drop this out of the way and make this larger. And let's play and see what we got. And there you go. It's just that easy. It's not very hard. It, the most time you're going to do is be sitting there setting your pictures up where you want them. And even if you, even after you do the animation, you say, oh, well, hold on. I want to move. I'm going to go in here and I want to move this, this guy right here. I'll go in here, grab on him and move him over. I think I want him moved over. You can still make some adjustments about where you want to move them. You can just go in here in your layers tab and move them around. Oops, I grabbed the top one. That's one I don't want to move. And you can hit the back button if you move something that you didn't want to by accident. But like I said, you can just go in here and move it around. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The most you're going to do is setting up your pictures in what kind of category. The animation part is easy. And that is how you do that. Thank you for stopping by. You know I love you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.